There's Grace and Eleanor and Sarah G. Cereal, leftover cereal. We're going to put it over the side. Let's see if school again comes. And we have a new fish. We have a special friend. Come on, come on. There he is. <laughs> Giant four foot remora. <laughs> it's quite a little pig. No more food for Corgi. It's bad for him. Stop. Don't give him those cookies. I want those cookies. Feeding him Oreos. Can't be good for him, but I swear he's gotten bigger since we, since we first saw him. He's so cool. I think Corgi is so, so cool. This is our morning entertainment here. But the most exciting thing to me, I mean, it's all really exciting, but the thing that I don't even know if I can tell you without crying because it's so marvelous. <laughs> he mounted my foot pumps. Looks like Helen Keller or something because I now have water in my belly. This is salt water and I have fresh water too. You just don't realize how much running water <laughs> makes a difference in your life <laughs> until you don't have it for like months and you can't figure out how to mount those pumps and then someone comes along like a, an angel and just in like an hour you had it done it was like absolutely amazing <laughs> I just can't believe how fortunate I am to have them here he just ground all these J this rebar out it's all gone some of this metal is still up here and I'm fixing to fill these holes, which is what the blue tape is for. That's where the old chain plates were. The, the new ones are gonna go on the outside and they're gonna be backed on the inside. Up here was where the aft lower chain plate was. And so the backing plate's gonna go here. So I cut this trim out and I gotta fill this in maybe cause it's got a little lip. Harmony's head has all been cleaned out. All that cabinetry is all out. And uh, George miraculously got the marine head out. He's made this platform for the head to sit on because there wasn't enough material here for it to sit on. It would fall, want to fall off. So he made this amazing platform, um, which I'm going to now put epoxy on. I got all three of my chain plates off, off the deck, and George drilled this rather large hole in the side of the boat, <laughs> which is where the new chain plate's gonna go. Big boat, little boat. I needed to do a few things on the big island of Puerto Rico, and George and Anna wanted to do a big reprovision. So we decided to just take the Sarah G over there instead of riding the ferry, which of course was a huge thrill for me, uh, having never uh, sailed on the boat before and um, having had a hand in rescuing her from, <laughs> from after Hurricane Dorian. So we had a marvelous uh, little cruise over to the Big Island. Here we are, Fajardo Canvas and Seal. And here's my sail. There's my sail on the top. And a sail the Sarah G's brought me on the bottom. But they say it's not in bad shape, so it's really great news. Some stitching coming out there. And these are the buttons. Uh, they're like stiffeners, and they go in these pockets. And some of these pockets need a little got a little trouble with the stitching here but uh and the battens were missing in my sail so we took the battens out of this old sail and we're going to reuse them in harmony sail since we were on the big island i sent george and anna out to fajardo for a special dinner and i stayed behind to babysit which was a ton of fun well let's see that elsa doll cool elsa doll and that 
Is this one of the frozen princesses? No. Oh. This is um Belle. Mi Belle. Mi mixing our <laughs> I'm in to Puerto del Rey to hopefully get some stainless for my backing plates, um, my chain plates, and maybe for the windlass. So, coming into the harbor at Puerto del Rey. Reportedly the largest marina and boatyard in the whole Caribbean. Had some, some rainy weather. Got the new Puerto Rican flag at Walmart. Love it. We went to the big marina. We got this beautiful piece of stainless. Woohoo! For my backing plates. Perfect. <laughs> bye bye, Big Island. <laughs> but that's Culebra there. It's only 22 miles and it's going to take us four hours to motor over there straight into the wind of course. But it's a beautiful day. It's cleared up. We have this little bit of a swell. But not too much. It's really just beautiful out here. Well this here is an exciting development. This is the bowsprit. And Jesse has routed it out to fit the stem head fitting and cut a hole for the anchor. And we have musical accompaniment. <laughs> Go, girl. That, my friends, is the sound of my bowsprit holes getting drilled. gonna go down that's where it used to go down now it's gonna go down inside because we're having putting a windlass on it's so exciting and here's the bowsprit in progress that's where the stem head fitting goes this is where it's gonna be attached to the deck this is where the windlass is gonna be mounted and there's the hole where the chain's gonna go to there's my little windlass isn't it cute meanwhile I have been sitting here on the deck of Sarah G comfortably sitting and grinding and filling the holes in the deck uh, where the damage was and it feels so good to be fixing that. There it is. The damage is getting all filled up. Drilled out and filled to where the old chain plates were and this is where the new chain plate's going to go. In between times I have affixed this uh, support to the dodger to hold the solar panels up and I'm working on the next one. I got the drill. I'm gonna drill drill out the holes and then put it on. In the course of pulling all the hardware off the stern I had occasion to go under here which is where the chain plate was attached to the back stay holding up the mast and this <laughs> this is what was holding it i pulled this out with my bare hand and it is you know there's not much left of it so i'm really glad i'm replacing the the back stay and this is so cute but yeah it's just hanging by thread <laughs> all alone on our mooring again kind of sad but We've made a lot of progress. I have been using the Sarah G as a platform to work on these side decks. And I have them all repaired, all the epoxy repairs done, and all the holes filled. She's dry inside. And this is where the chain plates are gonna go. We've filled the holes from the old chain plates. And I repair, made the repairs to the edge here so that the chain plate uh, it has a nice, you know, surface to be attached to on the outside. So we're all ready for that. 
the bowsprit's ready to go on. Well, it's not ready to go on yet, but the bow is prepared for the bowsprit to go on. The holes are all drilled. Holes are all drilled. There's a hole for the anchor chain to go through. This hole's going to get filled. It's no longer needed. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty cool. Um, it looks a lot better than it did. <laughs> Here in the cockpit is the backing plate for the bowsprit. I probably need to clean it up before it goes back in. And the holes are all ready. And I been working on these. This is the masthead fitting. I was fixing to put the new put the new antenna on. I need to get it off this mount and onto this one. And this is the masthead lights, nav light. And this is the the um, pad and the mounting bracket that that George made for me. And you can see Sergi over there. She just close by, not ready for her to leave yet. Uh, I've been cleaning it up. You can see this is all the oxidation that was on it and just this side's cleaned up. I need to finish cleaning it up and it'll be ready to reinstall. And it won't be long before I'll be ready to 